For me, nothing beats a handful of plump blueberries right off the bush. A true North American superfood that we're so lucky to call our own. Yet, it's also one of the most pricey food items in the grocery store, even without the current inflation. The best thing for us, as it always is, is to just grow our own. Hi, I'm Jeff from the Ripe Tomato Farms. Welcome to another episode of the Garden Quickie, the show where in two minutes or less, growing our own is our motto. And today's episode is all about blueberries. More specifically, tips for planting up those brand new blueberry plants that you just bought at the store. Let's get them set up for maximum success. But we're going to have to act fast because time's short as it always is. Blueberry plants are extremely long-lived. In fact, it takes them about 10 years to reach their maximum size. So we need to keep that in mind that whatever we're doing now to make our blueberry plants happy keeps them staying happy for the decades of future production to come. And this all starts with how we plant them. Now, because it's a little easier to see what we're doing, I'm going to be planting my blueberries today in containers. Normally, blueberries are planted in the ground out in the garden, but containers are completely viable. And if you can get one big enough, it can be just as successful. If you are going to go the container route, I suggest a minimum of a 10 gallon size. And if you're going to be planting them out in the garden, make sure to space them at least two feet apart. Having said that, one plant is going to give you some berries, sure, but two or more plants is going to give you significantly more harvests. This is because blueberry plants need buddies to max out their pollination, and thus the yields. With these guys, the more the merrier. For location, you're going to want sun, and lots of it. They need as much sun as you can give them. Six hours plus a day, more if you can afford it. Now, for the soil, it needs to be loose, well-drained and high in organic matter. But unlike all your other crops that enjoy this type of soil, well, these guys need it acidic. A pH of 4.5 to 5.5 works best. At the time of planting and once per year afterwards, I sprinkle pelleted elemental sulfur on the top layer of soil. This works great to maintain that medium acidity that the blueberries require. Okay, now that we're ready to plant, we have to keep in mind that blueberries are quite shallow rooted. So this is going to be fairly easy. It should be noted that there's two key times that you can plant your blueberries. Early spring or early fall. I prefer the spring. First thing, gently remove your blueberry plant from the pot. After that, loosen up some of the roots as much as you can, especially if it's an older plant that might be pot bound. All shrubs, including blueberries, are very susceptible to becoming root bound in their pots. Loosen up that root ball so that the fine root system of the plant can spread out and do its thing. Observing the existing root color, go ahead and plant the blueberry bush. We're using containers today like we mentioned before, so we'll use a quality container potting mix. But if you're growing in the ground, simply backfill in with the displaced soil. Fill it up nice and level, packing it down a few times. Next, mulch with some fine bark or even straw and then water thoroughly to consolidate the planting. These guys here are two-year-old cuttings from my own blueberry stalk, so they're already producing flowers. With yours, you may have to wait until the following summer to see your first fruit. In the meantime though, don't forget to tune in and watch the next episode of the Garden Quickie. Thanks for watching guys. And hey, if Garden Quickies are your thing, be sure to click on this playlist here as we explore and solve more growing issues in two minutes or less.